The Harlem Stage Gatehouse Theater is reopening this week with a performance postponed by the pandemic. CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell takes us behind the scenes of a drop of midnight following a tale of race relations and family lines across continents. A years in the making moment. Why do I look the way I do? Jason Diakite, also known as Swedish rapper Timbuktu, is telling his story on the Harlem stage. I gaze, lands on my head. The original premiere date, March 30th, 2020. That's one of the many blessings with the pandemic postponement is that now Jonathan McCrory is directing, which I'm very, very excited about. Diakite's memoir, A Drop of Midnight, has evolved beyond the page. We have the speaking lines. Director Jonathan McCrory aims to bring the audience into a transformative performance. What is the takeaway from this set? Yeah, I mean, the, the desire is like really trying to make like an unplugged session. Those unplugged notions where we get to sit with an artist, witness their truth, and feel their performance from a different vantage point. Timbuktu had chart-topping success as a pioneer in Swedish hip-hop. He first started rapping in 1989. My cousin from Brooklyn had come to live with us in Sweden, and he brought his tapes with him, and he embodied hip-hop very much. It is a culture. It is a culture, and I was the first rapper in my town. His career took off. It just felt like I had found my calling. But despite his following, Diakite still felt like he didn't fit in. What does racism look like in Sweden? It's different. Sweden is also a country with a, a very clear identity of being one people, of one culture, also meaning of one color. A child of interracial American parents, Diakite explores how his biracial experience ties to his black father's family. Diakite's performance traces his ancestry from a South Carolina plantation through Harlem. In America? He held his first musical reading of the memoir here at fellow Swede Marcus Samuelson's Red Rooster. Eric played the piano while I was reading from the book. Then Rakim, the band, and Gloria, Ryan, and myself sang songs in between. And I was like, guys, we could do this for 90 minutes. A Drop of Midnight, the performance, premiered in Sweden in 2017. Harlem Stage decided to invest in a reimagining for an American audience. And the pandemic kind of did a detour for so many arts institutions um, where they weren't able to make moments like this occur. And this is like a pinch me moment, to be honest. Hers read Africa. Take a journey through Timbuktu's timeline for one week only. I could be here today. In Harlem, Jesse Mitchell, CBS 2 News. A Drop of Midnight premieres tonight at Harlem Stage Gatehouse and performances run through Sunday the 11th.